G'day teachers, this is the first video in a series addressing the question why teach memorization of number facts? In the Australian curriculum for year three we have two statements about memorizing number facts. By the end of year three, students will recall addition facts for single digit numbers and related subtraction facts to develop increasingly efficient mental strategies for computation. And then separately, we'll recall multiplication facts of 2, 3, 5 and 10 and related division facts. For Year 4 students, again by the end of the year, it states students will recall multiplication facts up to 10 times 10 and related division facts. So the curriculum is very clear, it doesn't mince its words. The curriculum writers clearly wanted teachers all over Australia to address this skill memorization of number facts. But let's delve in a little deeper and think about what it really means when it says recall. If a person can recall a number fact, let's take an example of say six times seven. That's not an easy number fact. If you can recall six times seven, that means if someone asks you what is six times seven, you're able to say 42. But you haven't reached the answer 42 by counting on fingers or looking up a chart or using a calculator or looking at someone else's work or referring to the back of an exercise book, you have recalled it. Recalling implies that you've memorized it previously. So we could say students will memorize the relevant number facts and then the students will be able to recall those number facts. What about speed? Well, if someone asks you what six times seven and you go, um, 42, you're not exactly recalling it. You're perhaps recalling a sequence of multiples of six or multiples of seven. But if you can recall 42, that means that when someone says, what, six times seven, you go 42. About that fast, the process of recalling from memory only takes a second or so to be able to do successfully. As well as that, let's consider what students in older years will be able to do. What about year five students and year six students? What can those students do? Clearly the implication is that if the students can memorize addition and subtraction facts and half the, the multiplication and division by the end of year three, and all the multiplication and division facts by the end of year four, that that skill will continue on in year five and year six. It wouldn't be sensible to say, let's make students in year three and four do this and fives and sixes can use a calculator or some other method. No, we expect all students to know their number facts. I have a question. Do your students recall number facts? Are they able to recall number facts at the appropriate level? This is a high standard. This is a very high standard. So we need to ask ourselves the question, first of all, are our own students able to do this? Are we meeting the standard in our school programs and the activities that we give our students, the expectations that we place on our students? Do we expect them to recall their number facts? Or do we allow them to count on fingers or use a calculator or some other method for finding out the number facts? If you can recall a number fact, you can recall a number fact as fast as I can click my fingers. In fact, it's faster than that. Six times six is, and I can remember the answers, 36 before I click my fingers. That is true recall. But knowing six times six is not saying six times six. Mm. Well, I know six times three is 18. So six times six is double 18. Double 10 is 20, double eight is 16. 20 plus 16 is 36. It's 36, that's not recalling a number fact. It's getting the answer, it's a nice use of mental strategies, it shows mathematical thinking, it shows some conceptual understanding, it shows knowledge of place value, all those are good things. What it doesn't show is recall of number facts. Now, we could argue whether you're happy to wait while a child processes it, but I would argue that that is too slow, and it's cumbersome, and it's repetitive. A child who doesn't know six times six is 36 today and goes through that process, chances are they won't know it tomorrow or next week or next month or next year. They will still be going, hang on a minute, six times three is 18 or, you know, and many children will just go, 
this is a waste of my time. I'm just going to use a calculator because that's faster. It's faster than going slowly. It's faster than processing all those operations and numbers and holding them in your memory. But it isn't faster than memorization. 6-6 six, six is a 36. It's quicker than I can type that into a calculator. So why should we teach memorization of number facts? First answer, because the curriculum says it. And the curriculum states that students will not be able to figure out or look up or calculate number facts, but they can recall them. And recall implies that they previously memorized them, that the response is almost instantaneous, and that the facts are stored in long-term memory, and that this skill will be retained into the future. Before you go, I'd like to talk to you briefly about a brand new resource that we have for teaching number facts to students in Year 3 and Year 4. It's called Blitzit Maths Radar Books 3 and 4. This is a program to teach memorization and recall of number facts for students operating at a Year 3 or Year 4 level. It's an integrated digital plus print program that incorporates weekly videos for teachers and students, weekly animated PowerPoint lessons to teach thinking strategies, and daily practice worksheets, pre-tests and post-tests. It's a full program and it's designed to take away the hard work for teachers of designing and creating the resources that are needed for such a program. We have teachers in Queensland who are currently trialling this program and from them we're hearing remarkable reports of how well students are enjoying the program and growing in confidence, not just in maths but in their education generally. So if you'd like to receive a complimentary copy for you to evaluate for yourself and see whether it's right for your classroom or school, follow the link below this video and we'll mail it to you at no cost at all to you and your school. I'll also give you access to the website so you can check out the videos and the PowerPoint lessons. That's it for this video. It's not the end of our discussion of why we should teach children to memorise number facts, but for now I'll stop and I'll talk to you again in a future video.